self-improvement is a conscious effort, and your journey towards seeing the best version of yourself requires attracting positive energy around you. If you believe in these statements, then you've landed on the right channel. In this video, we're going to talk about part two of the self-improvement tips to attract positivity in your life. Coming up. Coming up. Hey, welcome to my channel called The Improve, Improve You 10, 10 times, times, where I publish videos for your personal development. I'm Dr. Q and I share tips on how to make yourself better every day. If you're new to this channel, click subscribe and hit the bell button below so you are notified when I have newly uploaded videos. In the first part of this video, we have learned that thinking positively means changing your mental, emotional, physical as well as your psychological state towards yourself, other people, and specific situations. So without further ado, let's, let's get, get started. started. Number, Number six. six. Use words that evoke images of strength, happiness, and success. One way to feel good about yourself is to think back regarding a moment or situation in your life in which you felt really good about yourself. Maybe you accomplished something great. Maybe you helped somebody with a problem. Maybe you suddenly thought of a rare idea in the middle of the night. Or you just finally made that decision you wanted to do for so long and it made you feel good. Whatever that moment in your life was, Think back of that moment and visualize it as detailed as possible. Doing so will train your mind to always focus on the bright side of everything and anything that your heart desires. However, meanings of words are just less than 10% of a message. Remember that the great majority of your emotional information come from your body language and your tone of voice. This means that the way you say it, for example, to yourself and someone else, and the way you use your body language will have the biggest impact by far in achieving your goal and whether or not you will feel good about yourself. It is positive self-image and positive thinking that are the origin and the foundation of any successful person. Mahatma Gandhi once said the following, your, your beliefs, beliefs become, become your, your thoughts. thoughts. Your, your thoughts, thoughts become, become your, your words. words. Your, your words, words become, become your, your actions. actions. Your, your actions become your, your habits. habits. Your, your habits, habits become, become your, your values. values. And, and your, your values, values become, become your, your destiny. destiny. Number 7. Renew your motivation and life's purpose. Tell yourself, you become what you think about. Reflect for a moment and answer the following questions. What do you think is the reason why you existed in this world in the first place? What is the ultimate purpose of your life? Is your purpose to effect change in society? Do you believe that it is your destiny to be someone someday? I bet that you already have an answer to those questions and the only thing you need to do is to remember what triggered you or motivated you to dream of being that person in the first place. Whatever you think most of the time will result in the quality of your life. Your streams of thoughts are a result of your beliefs. One of the fundamentals that determine your personality, your attitude, your behavior, and your results. It's what you tell yourself in words, pictures, and thoughts that your mind will translate to your subconscious. Since your mind is built to serve you in the best way possible, it will conduct everything necessary to match the thoughts you have about yourself, your life, and ultimately the quality of your life that you so desire. It's therefore absolutely necessary to have a positive mindset and to tell yourself constructive, empowering, and supporting messages. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, Sow a thought, and you reap an act. Sow an act, and you reap a habit. Sow a habit, and you reap a character. Sow a character, and you reap your destiny. Number, Number eight. eight. 
take criticism as a positive feedback. When you are extremely happy, content, and optimistic about what you do and who you are, other people's criticisms rarely affect you. On the other hand, when your self-esteem is a little low, you are more likely to be sensitive towards critical comments and see other people's criticism as a personal attack. So, when confronted with honest, constructive criticisms, use them as feedback and ask yourself what you can learn from such statements. Remember that if someone criticizes what you do, that doesn't mean they, they criticize you as a person. If somebody makes negative comments just to attack you personally, take the comments with a smile because the confidence you have in yourself can trample any personal and negative attacks. So stop blaming others for what you have or what you don't have, for what you feel or what you don't feel because blaming others just doesn't accomplish anything and merely annoys anyone around you in the process. Accept that you are in charge of yourself and your self-esteem. Many individuals blame their parents, their teachers, their failed relationships, the government, and their former boss. But remember this. The best person that's responsible for building your self-esteem is yourself. When you blame others for things that happen in your life, you give them the power over your own life. One core action towards achieving positivity in life is to stop playing the victim and instead announce, you are the captain of your own ship. Number 9, Number nine. Pursue Lifelong Learning Positivity happens when you feel good about yourself. So, whatever makes you feel good, do it for as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else. Remember that life is not all about competition. But just in case you believe in competition, tell yourself that the only person you are in competition with is the one you were yesterday. So focus on the person that you want to become. It's not about beating others. It's about being content with yourself and improving yourself continuously. When you are sure of yourself and your abilities, do you feel the need to compete? Do you need to be better than anyone? Do you feel the need to compare yourself to everybody around you? Do you really need the validation of others to tell you how well you are doing? A person with high self-esteem does not feel the need to compete. People with a genuine, positive mentality don't need to be better than anybody else. They don't even need a reward for doing a good job because they know they are doing their best and because they know it's not about the result but the quality of your journey in this world. People with high self-esteem and positive mindset recognize their potentials for what they are and the principles that they represent and the kind of change that they want to effect in society. Number, Number 10. 10. Keep going despite the odds. Positivity doesn't mean being contented with where you are for the rest of your life. As humans, it is our nature to be better than where we are at the present time to pursue higher goals or to achieve more depending on your life circumstances. So if you happen to pursue a goal and you think it's hard to achieve it, tell yourself this, you are a work in progress. So never stop learning and make a daily effort at improving yourself. A good way to improve, say for instance, your self-esteem is by working on building your strengths and improving your weaknesses. It all starts, once again, with looking into yourself, asking yourself what you would like to change or what you would like to achieve. Then, it's time to set realistic goals. If you reach them, great. If not, don't fret. Always celebrate how far you have come and then keep on going and going until you reach your goal. In setting your goals, make a concrete plan on how to get there and keep a daily track of your own progress. Very often, when everything seems to go against you, when fear and doubts are doing their best to make you quit, when you're close to giving up 
it's when you are closer to victory than you've ever dreamed of. So, when facing such situations, just push towards your goal a little bit more. It's this last push that can make a difference between failure and success. And there you have it, our part two of the self-improvement tips to attract positivity in your life. What are some of your own self-improvement tips on how you can attract positivity in your life? Comment below and keep the conversation moving. If you're new to this channel, click subscribe and hit the bell button below so you are notified when I have newly uploaded videos. Peace out!